Hi everybody, it's Christina from Card Making Magic. This is the layered poinsettia die from Spellbinders and we're going to make some cards today using this. Now your poinsettias don't have to be red, they can be in pink or they can be in cream. So for my card I'm going to use cream uh, poinsettias. I've laid my dies on my card and I have put them through the die cutting machine and I've also embossed them which will bring the ridges up through the die and then before I remove them from the die I'm going to go over the, the shape and I'm using antique linen and that's just going to emphasise the shape in the actual um, flower. And once you've done that, this is what you will have on your cards. Now because I want to make a shaped card, I've chosen dies that will fit together. So I'm going to cut two of the scallop shape and one of the plain oval. So I've cut myself the two scallop shapes and they're just going to be glued together to give the card strength and on the single plain one I've run it through an embossing folder and that is going to sit on the front of the card so I'm just working on these two pieces for now. I've also cut myself two shapes from the little stand and I've glued them together and that is going to be the stand that I pop the card on when it's finished. So I've also stamped myself a little sentiment that blends in with the card and I'm going to use um, some swirly pearls from Want to Scrap. Now around the shape that I've embossed I've just put some glue pen and sprinkled it in glue and I've in glitter and I've done the same with all the um, flower shapes. I've just gone over it with a quickie glue pen and dipped it in the glitter and I'm now going to build up the flower. So what I need to do is just pinch the leaf shapes together and then with a spot of glue I'm just going to add the next layer into that shape but I'm just going to offset the petals and I'm going to do that so that I build up all four of the layers and that will give me that. So I've now got everything ready to assemble the card so I'm going to glue the two scallop shapes together and this is just my dry run. Then with foam pads I'm going to add the embossed piece to the card I'm going to put foam pads under the sentiment and I'm going to add that along the bottom and then I'm going to use two of the poinsettia shapes and pop them on the card. Then underneath I shall add in some of the extra leaves and then along the top of the sentiment I shall just add in the bow. So there is everything glued in place on the finished card and I've just added some pearly swirls from Want to Scrap on the side and there you have different colours for different poinsettia cards all ready to send for Christmas.